We as a family together are building two new paradigm living spaces. One there, one here. We're doing this together. We're doing this together. Hmm. Today we're having the next session of our community founders uh, group presentation by Max and Jasmine. They're starting a beautiful project in Crete in Greece. Hmm. Worth it to get up in the middle of the night, body time, to dive into that with them. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And now you are in Bali when the first rule when entering this little peninsula is please maintain the sacred of this Papa? island. Papa? Beautiful. Papa? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> question that I've been contemplating for the past years every now and then is I'm born in Germany I'm born in Berlin I'm born in the temperate climates and now I'm living in Bali since many many years and I sense that living in these tropical climates is way more in alignment with myself and still there's this question inside myself that asks maybe you are born in Germany for a reason. Oi, this is trash. This is trash, huh? That's a beer can. You can put it into the trash. And I sense that there is definitely a reason. And maybe this reason is to stay there. And maybe this reason is to not stay there. But I don't have a definitive answer. But like I'm equally intrigued by exploring, in my opinion, like the ideal living conditions for us and I sent that out of many 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 factors this is in the tropics we can be barefoot all the time Leo can be as na as much as possible naked tropical fruits are growing all year round um, especially for, for for like newborns and their mothers they can really be outside all the time and still be naked and still like very convenient and you don't need to wear diapers and like it's all <laughs> If I, like Leo was born end of February, if I imagine him being born in Germany during that time, we wouldn't have seen the daylight for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> and he doesn't like clothes and like many, many factors. Yeah. 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 Da rein? Yeah. Du hast die Bier, das, du hast die Bierkern da reingeworfen, ne? Oder von oben vielleicht? Au! Pika! Ah! Ich hab sie. Hapsi. And the air quality is much better and you can jump in a fresh water river like in the waterfall and like a lot of reasons and still Yeah, there's the beer can still there's this voice inside myself that is like Intrigued as well. How can we design? maximally aligned living conditions in the temperate climates because this is where I'm coming from and fortunately my dad and Annie, his wife, they don't want to live full time in the tropics. They want to live in the temperate climates and still they want to live in the tropics with us, but in the winter they want to have snow. That being said, no? <laughs> Leo doesn't want toys. <laughs> the beer can is a, is a much more interesting toy <laughs> than any toy <laughs> we can buy. And the uh, guiding principle for both spaces for both locations is an ecological footprint. Yeah. Beer can. Yeah, you can throw. Kannst werfen. Yeah. Yeah. Come in.
The guiding principle for both is an ecological yeah, footprint as Papa, low as possible. Papa. Mayor Papa? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Low ecological footprint, remember. Design criteria is an ecological footprint as low as possible. Oh, guck mal, Leo, das sieht doch richtig schön aus. Oi. Oi. And of course, it will be something different in the tropics compared to in the temperates. In the tropics, things are easier. You don't need to have insulation because it's not getting cold. If you live in the mountains, you don't even need air conditioning. You can grow your food by yourself without the need to import something so the goal in the tropics is definitely an ecological footprint of one in the temperates that will not be fully possible but we are aiming for an ecological footprint as low as possible in order to put minimal burden on the biosphere living conditions for my thriving there wouldn't be the need to yeah to go to the other side of the planet yeah can Strauss name yeah <laughs> there wouldn't be the need to go to the other side of the planet and explore something completely different but since not only regarding the place Berlin a big city with almost four million inhabitants but the conditions too like with divorced parents and living in big concrete boxes and like almost everything felt to me not aligned with my full thriving and that's what led me to Bali to the other side of this of this earth yeah so this argument of like you were born here and that's why you need to stay here could be could be true if we as human beings have stayed in these tribal oh yeah if we had stayed in these tribal living conditions, but we didn't. We broadened our consciousness. We went from purple to red to blue to orange. And we wanted to explore city life. We wanted to explore separation. We wanted to explore materialism. Yeah, it is in the Wurzeln. These are the roots from the tree. These are the roots, long roots. We wanted to explore all that. And now I sense that to green and and yellow and turquoise the blue orange living conditions that are typical in our modern world are not in alignment anymore and that's why i'm called for an adapt i'm called to an adaptation whoa big roots huh and that's what calls me into these experiments that for the level of consciousness where we are, there are not no aligned living conditions. Yeah. So change is a constant. Papa. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. We don't know the name of this fruit. What is it? What is that? We always find new interesting fruits. I have no fucking idea. It's super hard. Change is a constant. And since we are evolving consciousness wise, that's a big one, huh? We need to adapt our living conditions. This is what we're trying to explore. Hmm. Far away from where I was born. Growing new roots. He, he was born here. I cannot open. It's so hard. I cannot open. Look. Cannot open it. Cannot open. He was born here. We're growing new roots. We're connecting with the earth. Inviting other people to be here with us. Connecting with the local culture. Learning the language. All of that. Come here. Yeah, you can try. You can try to open. You can try to open it. Not possible, huh? Not possible. Yeah. Not possible to open.
we have a plan. These were our last words, both from me and from my dad. We have a plan. Ah, oh, things are progressing, friends. Things are progressing big time, both in the short term, meaning getting grandma as soon as possible back here to Bali for her, for Leo, for us, for like for everybody. It's not working. It's not working that she's in Germany. Yeah. And in the long run too. And it gets really obvious that our place is here in Bali and their place will be in, in the north of Italy. Yeah. North of Italy, Italy. What is it? Is it in... I was wondering, is it in, in English? Is it... In German it's Südtirol. It's, is it Southern Tyrol? I have no idea. North of Italy. Yeah, this is their place. Yeah, where they got married. Where my dad proposed to his wife. Like there's a lot of... St I, I, like uh, uh, we have a lot of roots already in Bali. Lionel was born here for the past nine years. I've spent almost as much time as in Germany here in Bali. Like there are a lot of roots here for us and for them. There are a lot of roots in this corner of the world. And although a lot, a lot, a lot of our criteria are aligned, there are certain things that let us develop roots here and let them develop roots there. And still they see themselves spending a lot of time with us here in Bali. And I see us spending a little bit of time over there in Europe so that we can be together as much as possible, but not 12 months a year, maybe six months a year, which feels very beautiful, which feels like bridging the gap. This is like really, this is the energy that is so present within me right now, like bridging the gap, like creating these scenarios where it's not perfect, but for the given circumstances, it's really nice so that they have their, their snow and their temperate climates and we have our tropics and still we can spend a lot of time together for like six months a year them probably being here with us in Bali for four or five months a year and we maybe spend time with them um, in Europe for one or two months a year yeah that feels very beautiful that feels very very beautiful but the first short-term mission is to get grandma back to Bali yeah hmm beautiful process beautiful process it feels like we as a family together are building two new paradigm living spaces one there one here I see myself involved in both like big time my dad is involved in both and we're doing this together we're doing this together hmm so grateful so 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 grateful for this process for the support of my family for like the alignment with everybody like it's incredible tomorrow I, I, i'm gonna have a call with my mom it's my intention to get my mom to us to bali too my mom and my grandma like my grandma is not the mother of my mom the grandma is the mother of my dad but still my mom and my grandma they are very very close so maybe I can get both of them soon back to us in Bali. Let's see, for my mom it would be the first time. I'll keep you posted. All right, that's it for today. The whole family is doing magic together. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> I'm happy. See you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day.